a Canadian Magic the Gathering player, well this channel seems like it's going to be one wild ride. Hello everyone, Canadian MTG coming to you guys with another modern deck deck. So today we have Naya Zoo. And this deck deck is one that I've been looking at for quite a while. I think it's personally interesting, and I personally hope you guys will too. So anyways, we have 28 creatures, 20 lands, 6 sideboard, 12 instants, and 3 maybe boards. So anyways, let's check out our deck. So we have 4 Burning Tree Emissary. Uh, so it's a 2 cost for a 2-2. Two -two. It's either 1 red, 1 green, 1 red, 1 green. And when it enters the battlefield, add red and green to your mana pool. So it's pretty much like a free cast is, is what it's saying. Got two Fleece Main Line, which is a two cost, one green, one white for a 3-3. Three, three. And tap three colors, one green, one white, uh, with Monstrosity 1. And as long as Fleece Main Line is monstrous, it has Hexproof and Indestructible. Then we got two Huntsmen of the, our Hunt Master of the Fells, which is a four cost, two colorless, red, green for a 2-2. Two, two. Whenever this creature enters the battlefield or transforms into Hunt Master of the Fells, put a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token onto the battlefield and you gain two life. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform Hunt Master of the Fells, which then turns into Ravager of the Fells. Then we also have four Kurt Ape, so it's a one red for a one one. Kurt Ape gets plus one plus two as long as you control a forest. Uh, four Lone Lion, so it's a one one for one white. Lone Lion gets plus one plus two as long as you control a forest. Then we got two Quisali Pride Mage, which is a two two for two, one white, one green. Exalted and tap one, sacrifice Quisali Pride Mage, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Four Reckless Bushwhackers, which is a 2-1 for 3, 2 colors, 1 red. Surge 1, Haste, and when Reckless Bushwhacker enters the battlefield, if its Surge cost was paid, other creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0, and gain Haste until the end of turn. Then we got two Scavenging Ooze, so it's a 2-2 two, two for 2, 1 colorless, 1 green. Uh, tap green, Exile Target card from Graveyard, if it was a creature card. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on Scavenging Ooze, and you gain 1 life. It's a really good card. And last but not least, four Wild Nacatl, which is a 1-1 one, one for 1. And when Wild Nacatl enters, or gets plus 1, plus 1 as long as you control a mountain, and gets plus 1, plus 1 as long as you control a like, plains. So seriously, a lot of buff up based on which lands you have. Now, as for lands, we have two forests, one mountain, one plains, four Sacred Foundry, four Stomping Ground, four Temple Garden, and four four wooded foothills this one is to search the other ones these ones simply count as uh red white red green and green white so just, just a tip for that our sideboard contains four uh four core firewalkers which are protection from red and gain life and thalia garnet thraven which is first strike and non-creature spells cost one more to cast then our instances are lightning bolt times four one red for a lightning bolt deals three damage to target creature or player Four Lightning Helix, which is one red, one white. For Lightning Helix, deals three damage to target creature or player, and you gain three life. And then four Path to Exile, which is a one white. Exile target creature, uh, its controller may search his or her library for a basic land card, put that card onto the battlefield tab, and then shuffle his or her library. So very good deck, very standard Naya Zoo. Um, very powerful deck. I hope you guys check out this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up, comment, uh, share. Check me out on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. See you guys next time.